There was an iron ingot in the middle and around that gold ingots. And as you can see, we get our custom item with the custom name and the color. So to create a custom recipe, we simply need to follow three steps. The first one will be to define the output item. The second one will be to find the shape and ingredients of the recipe. And the last one will be to add the recipe to the server. Let's start with step one. For this example, I want to make the output a regular diamond with a custom name. So let's create the diamond. Diamond is a new item stack material.diamond. And let's give it a custom name with item matter, diamond, get item matter. And now we set the display name with this method and paper and component.text. Let's call it special diamond and give it a color of purple. And now set the item meta back to the diamond item with diamond.set item meta, meta. And that's it with step one. Step two will be to define the shape of the recipe and the ingredients. For that, we're going to use a class called shaped recipe, we call it recipe, and it's equal to new to a new shaped recipe. And as you can see, it expects two parameters. The first one is a name spaced key, which is basically an identifier for the recipe. And the second one will be the result. In our case, the result will be the diamond item, so we can and the first one will be a key, which we haven't created yet. So let's do it. Final name base key, call it key. And this will be equal to new name spaced key. And this expects a plugin. So we can just pass this and a key string. And we can basically type anything here you want. And I'm going, going to type custom recipe. And now to actually define the, the shape and the ingredients of the recipe, we call the recipe.shape method. And this expects up to three strings, which can be interpreted as the rows of the crafting table. So this contains the items that will be in row one, this in the middle row, and this in the, th in the third row. And the idea for this is that we have in the middle one iron ingot and around that all gold ingots. The upper row will be just gold ingots so i have a placeholder for gold ingots i'm just going, going to call it g and repeat it two times to say that the first row will consist of three gold ingots the second row will be one gold ingot one iron ingot in the middle and one gold ingot at the end and the third row will be all gold ingots again and now we need to tell the server what the ingredients what the placeholders mean and we do that with recipe.setIngredient. Then in single quotes, you type one of the ingredient placeholders. For example, let's start with G. And we say that G is material of type gold ingot. And we do the same with iron ingot. In this case, capital I, since we chose the I placeholder for the iron ingot. And the material for that is iron ingot. And for the last step, we need to add the recipe to the server. And this can be very simply done in one line with bucket.add recipe and then the recipe which we created here. Now let's get a crafting table, our gold ingots and the iron ingot. There was an iron ingot in the middle and around that gold ingots. And as you can see, we get our custom item with the custom name and the color. 